Good morning, good morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Spill Aid Tea. I'm your host, Tiffany Daniels, and we are going back to that horrible world known as the JRC. But before we do the usual disclaimers, I'm doing at least some of the videos today a little bit earlier because I did not want to have to try and do seven videos at the end of work at 7.30 this evening because I've got an early birthday dinner coming up this Wednesday. I'm going to want to clean tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. You get where I'm going, right? All right, to the disclaimers. Folks, if you are unfamiliar with the Stop the Shocks campaign or with the campaign against the double teen industry. You're going to find all the pertinent looks, but pertinent looks, I'm not awake, pertinent links right there in the description box. And particularly, I want you to pay note to the article written by Neuroclastic, a small non-for-profit started by autistics for autistics, in that they interviewed over 900 ABA professionals in regards to the JRC's so-called behavior modification program. The Dutch Rotenberg Educational Center doesn't want you to read this article so much. They have threatened Neuroclastic with a defamation lawsuit if they did not remove it from the website. Folks, Neuroclastic has refused, so if you could, read that and share it on all your social media. We also have linked in there Neuroclastic's public statement in regards to the defamation lawsuit threat, as well as a link to the GoFundMe in case the JRC actually sees through with their threat. Trigger warning number one. Folks, when we discuss places like the Judge Rotenberg Educational Center and Agape Boarding School for Boys, you're going to hear vivid descriptions of and catch clips of surveillance footage of people with mental health issues and disabled people being tortured and abused. If you got young children present, please use your headphones. Trigger warning number two. This channel is marked up for kids for a reason. We do use profanity on occasion. We do speak on dark subjects. If your child is 16 and younger and watching this, very obviously parental supervision is advised, all right? So where we left off last time, excuse me, allergies, they've been rough this morning. The 10th Amendment instructs us that powers which the Constitution does not delegate to the federal government belongs to the states. I'm kind of rereading this because this is something that Republicans always do. Anytime you catch a Republican in a lie, anytime they want to make a, a nonsensical judgment call that has absolutely nothing to back it up, anytime they try to really pass anything that doesn't make any type of coherent sense, they immediately fall back on the Constitution, citing it incorrectly usually a piece of said constitution to use as justification that in no way actually speaks to the subject matter at hand. I'm pushing 40. I'm going to be 39 this upcoming Saturday. I've watched them do it my whole life. Whole life, folks. Okay? There is nothing within the American Constitution that gives doctors the right to prescribe a medical device that causes substantial harm to the patient. There is nothing, even the Republican rhetoric of, it should be power to the states. The government has no right makes no comprehensible sense when we're again talking about the subject matter at hand, which is the banning of the GED device, because it's landing kids in the ER. Okay? This is just another way that they go about to try to justify not protecting us disabled people from being tortured, starved, and sleep-deprived like we were, you know, 
people stuck in Guantanamo Bay back in the two, early 2000s, okay? Let's read on for this stupidity, shall we? The U.S. Constitution, Amendment 10, the very structure of the Constitution underscores the balance of powers between the federal and state governments. What did I just say? With its careful enumeration of federal powers, an explicit statement that all powers are not granted to the federal government are reversed. United States versus Morrison. Now explain to me like a five-year-old what that has to do with this subject matter at hand. Nothing. You are basing this statement off of the false premise that the FDA did indeed improve approve of the current GED device. That is a lie. It is stated numerous times throughout the documents that have been collected throughout the entirety of the FDA hearings and throughout the entirety of the FDA documents when it gives the reasoning for the 2020 ban that the current GED device at no time whatsoever was approved by the FDA to try to use this as an argument of state versus federal makes no coherent logical sense when you look at it within that frame. Okay? <sighs> Congress may legislate on naturalization, bankruptcy, patents, and copyrights, for example. U.S. Constitution Article 8, but cannot generally mandate individuals purchase particular goods or regulate the practice of law. What in the name of God does that have to do with the price of beans, okay? Explain to me like I'm a five-year-old what that has to do with the subject matter at hand. It doesn't. This is, the, this is an old playbook, folks. This is Republicans going back to using state versus federal powers anytime they get their hands caught in the cookie jar. See, they don't care if it makes any logical, coherent sense to use that argument. What they're trying to do is get all the people who do nothing more ra rather than, you know, glance at headlines and get offended without reading the context. And a frenzy would say, no, the state should have more powers. This has nothing to do with the subject at hand. None of this has anything to do with the subject at hand. To sit there and try to throw in this usual Republican talking points idiocy as a part of this conversation whatsoever makes no coherent sense. The FDA is not in any way, shape, or form trying to exercise more powers than what they have been invested with. Okay? Yeah, it's like talking to a five-year-old. As a result, before we will construe a statute to permit federal action in an area that is traditionally the province of state law, we require Congress to make its intention to alter the usual constitutional balance between the states and federal government, unmistakably clear in the language of the statute. Okay, let me call you on this. Here's the problem, D.C. Circuit Court. It's the state's decision. Ah, but you have a school that has students coming in from other states. States that ban in their state laws adverse therapy outright in any form. The JRC doesn't care. See, those students do not get to use their state's protections to keep themselves safe. Okay? Do you see the problem here? You could maybe apply that 
technically to a public school within a state. The difference is the people going to that public school are from the state in question. When you have a situation like the JRC, where you have students getting referred and brought in from other states, states that actually do have protection laws in place to keep them safe from adversive therapy, and you completely ignore those laws and protections from those other states, when you literally have the parents sign a waiver under threat, I might add, for where they throw those laws out the window, this argument here, state versus federal, makes no coherent sense, does it? Again, this is the D.C. Circuit Court playing fast and loose with the truth with throwing in the regular Republican Constitution, rah, 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 state versus federal, rah, 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 in a conversation it doesn't belong in. And we're going to close on that, folks. We don't get very many views on this channel. The few that we do get do tend to get removed from time to time. So if you could, folks, please don't forget to hit the like button. Hit subscribe. Don't forget to hit the comments. I do appreciate your time this morning. As always, folks, we here at Spilling Tea hope you have a good one. I will see you next vid. Bye-bye, everyone.